Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll show you how to remove and replace rear wheel hub on Ford Fiesta MK7. This one will be generation 2018-2017. So, we'll be removing and replacing rear, rear uh, wheel hub, okay? The whole hub assembly with the bearing. So stay with us and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, if you have a bad wheel bearing, we'll recommend replacing the whole hub. It's uh, very inexpensive and really easy to do. So let's start on it now. Uh, we will also have more than 200 videos guys on the car and we'll keep adding more uh, Taking everything apart. So please subscribe if you need anything. Just let us know So we have the car in park or in gear if it's standard. So put it in gear uh, We're going to have okay The tire chokes here to put on the rear right side because we'll be working on the rear left side And we don't want the vehicle to roll on us. Uh, you can actually use two more on the phone just in case always be safe than sorry so uh, we're going to go ahead and jack it up now we'll need to have a jack stand okay always use a jack stand uh, because if the jack fails what happens you're under the car it fails one little seal o-ring fails it drops on you and you're done so one jack stand guys can save your wife and your car as well Something else that we will do for extra safety, stay with us and we will show you in just a second. We'll have the links for all the tools that we use and all the parts in the description of the video below guys. Like that rapid pump racing jack, really cool deal and it's very affordable, we really like it and we've been using it for more than 3 years and it works great. Okay, so we have the jack stand there now. So we're going to remove the lug nuts now. Okay, this one got stuck a little bit there. So, we'll go ahead and remove all four of them. Uh, I'm not gonna waste your time watching us removing those, unless it's quick. And uh, check out guys, we have a new channel, it's called Electrical Car Repair Live. Only live videos for electrical problems, fuses, things like that. Really important information there, only live videos, nothing edited. So you can see how we diagnose everything and how we do all that stuff. So now we need to get a 13 millimeter wrench, okay, and a 15 millimeter to hold right here the glide because otherwise it will start turning and you can damage that seal. Okay, we will need to remove the brake caliper and the brake mount as well. Okay, this one's getting loose. Now the other one. You can find all the tools and parts that we use listed in the description of the video below guys. More information there. Okay, second one. When you put those together they have blue thread lockers, so you have to install some. Now you have to pull it out. Okay, just help it a little bit with the screwdriver. Okay, careful with the pads now, they'll try to fall out. Okay, like that. We'll place the caliper right here, you can tie it to make sure it doesn't fall because if it falls you might put too much pressure on the brake line and break it. Now, uh, with the same 13mm we have two more bolts, this is for the brake caliper bracket, okay, that we need to remove. Uh, we'll have to remove this one, okay, the one on the bottom as well, same procedure. And later guys, if you need to see it putting together the brakes, we have the video how to install new brake pads. So pretty much you can follow that procedure if you get confused somewhere. Because there is one part with the springs that is a little bit confusing. Okay. This bolt out of there, now the top one only. Okay, let me turn the light on so we can see a little bit better. Okay, this is the bracket out of there. Next, we can go ahead and pull the roller out. Okay, just grab it and pull it out. Okay, just like that. Once the roller is out of the way, now we need to work on the back side. And we have a few bolts that we need to remove for the wheel hub. Okay, and uh, the difference between a drum and this brake will be that you have to uh, work the brakes out a different way. But other than that, it's the same thing. 
So with the 13 mm you have four bolts for the wheel hub. Okay, that hold to the rear suspension and those will be <laughs> really really tight. And before we continue our mistake here, we'll need to disconnect the ABS sensor first because otherwise we will break it. Okay, and the ABS sensor it has only one bolt with uh, 8 mm. Okay, let me get it so I can show it a bit better. Okay, it's right there, 8 mm. So we'll go ahead, remove that bolt so we can pull the sensor out. It's always good to wipe them uh, because otherwise, if you have too much uh, sand, dust, rust building there, the ABS sensor might not work. Okay, this is the bolt, and we're going to pull the sensor out now. Okay, right there. Okay, so we got the other ones loose already, so we can go ahead and uh, remove them with a 13 millimeter now. Okay, one is out. Second one. And then we have two more, but you have to work your way around the spring, so you don't have to remove it or anything like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, and this should be the last one now. Okay, next you might need to get a rubber hammer, just tap on it a little bit because it will be stuck in there. So a little bit on one side, then go to the other side a little bit. It went in, so you just have to work your way around, you know, you can see it's coming out. If that doesn't help, okay, spray a little bit of penetrating oil, okay, right here. Uh, we use WD-40. And that will help quite a bit, okay. This is the one that we're using. Almost out, a little bit more. You have to hold your brake caliper so you don't have any pressure there. Okay, right there guys, and you can see this is the hub. This is the bearing, okay, right here. And uh, this bearing actually, that's where the ABS, okay, reads from this side. So you gotta make sure that this is clean or if you're replacing new bearings. This is the two glides that we have right here. And those will have quite a bit of rust, that's why ours had a little bit of hard time coming out. Okay, so before we install the new hub, always clean those. Clean them with uh, penetrating oil. You can use a little bit of a fine sandpaper to get the rust out, lubricate them. And this is this is the hub, guys, right here. Okay, some of the numbers on it, if you need it. So that's how you guys remove it and replace it, put everything together in reverse order. If you need to see the procedure about the brakes, we have it on the channel. Check it out, it's called Rear Brake Path Replacement on Ford Fiesta. So thank you guys for watching, please subscribe and see you guys next time.